I'm News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos. A mostly dry night is on tap for across most of Central Florida for your Sunday evening. And as we head into early Monday, looking dry, a few clouds will start to build up, up about noon to about 1 o'clock. A couple of those scattered showers will start to move all along that east and west coast sea breeze. A couple of those isolated downpours, but not very widespread. So if you're trying to decide whether or not to run the sprinklers this week, you might want to just because we're not going to see a real good dose of rain all across Central Florida, at least for the next, for the next few days. We are still tracking Hurricane Lee. It has re-strengthened back into a major hurricane. Sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. Forecast intensity is still showing it could re-intensify to a Category 4 storm, possibly by next week. And then, of course, this big turn that we've all been waiting and hoping for, potentially come Wednesday and into Thursday as a Category 3 storm. But even uh, hundreds of miles away from our coastline, it is still going to be roughing up our surf pretty good. So you can see beach and boating conditions are going to be hazardous. High risk of rip currents. If you're planning on heading out to the beaches, stay on the sand as the red flags will be flying. When it comes to our beach surf, you can see as late as about Thursday, that's kind of the worst of the weather as Lee will be the closest to central Florida. Four to seven foot seas. Offshore waters about five to ten. So, of course, not a good beach or boating week in general. But as we take you here hour by hour, overnight lows for tonight, low 70s, warming up to low 90s. Still tons of sunshine. Few thunderstorms around. Just keep the rain gear handy. It will be isolated at times. And as we look at your full seven day forecast, temperatures running about two, maybe three degrees above average. Rain chances again, not widespread, but certainly worth a mention. And it looks like we'll have little times of drier spots as we head into the end of next week.